What I'm going to do this morning is I'm going to go through with you some of the nutrients and some of the strategies that I feel are extremely important as we go through this whole world of age management. And something that I've been doing for the past 22 years in clinical practice. I still see patients every single day. And I have always believed that that's really the way to keep your, your finger on the pulse. How many of you in here use, first of all, before I ask that question, how many of you in here take multivitamin, coenzyme Q10, fish oil, vitamin E? Let me see some hands. Of, so most of you do. And if you don't mind me asking, how many of you don't? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there's a handful of you that don't. I was on the plane yesterday, coming over here, and a um, gentleman sitting next to me on the plane, the guy was probably worth half a bazillion dollars. I knew exactly who he was. He is one of the largest land developers in the country. And he is all, they're based in New Jersey, and he's all over New Jersey. And I had started having, a, had a conversation with him. And he said, you know what? My doctor doesn't believe in those vitamins and supplements and things. I said, oh, that's interesting. And he, you know, he realized that I was a physician, so we started a conversation. And I, and I said to him, I said, so let me ask you a question. How many servings of fruits and vegetables did you eat yesterday? And he um, looked at me and he said, well, I had a salad for lunch, I had a glass of orange juice, I had um, a shake for, for uh, excuse me, a salad for, uh, believe it or not, for breakfast with some greens, and he had a shake for lunch and a salad and something else at dinner. I said, okay, let's be really aggressive and say you had four servings of fruit and four servings of vegetables. He said, yeah, it's pretty good, right? I said, well, you're halfway there. The recommendation today is eight servings of fruit and vegetables a day. And he said, wow. He said, so what should I be taking? He said, well, by the way, does your doctor believe in vitamin D? He said, nah, he says that's, no, that's useless. I said, okay. I said, how old is your doctor? I was expecting him to say, you know, 110. <laughs> Actually, if he was 110, he probably would be doing the stuff that we just talked about. So we got into a whole thing. And by the way, the guy was hacking the entire way, you know, was... <coughs> <coughs> Finally said to him, because he was bugging the hell out of me. I was trying to finish my PowerPoint. And um, I finally said to him, by the way, you said you have high blood pressure, right? He said, yeah. I said, are you on, uh, tell me what medicine you're on. I said, I'll bet you're on an ACE inhibitor. And he was. That's why he was happy. It was a side effect of the medicine. So some of the obvious things for all of us, and I know I'm kind of preaching to the choir here today, but my goal here today is for those of you that raised your hands, that said you're not taking anything, is to get you to start taking something. At least a multivitamin. That's one of my goals today. So, let's start and um, let's go through this. By the way, if you have questions, if there's something that come up, just raise your hand. We've got lots of time today. I love to have interaction from the audience. What's the matter? Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, he's the, he's the video guy, so he's got to make sure that everybody hears everything. All right, so any questions or any comments, please feel free to, to jump right in there. I just want to show you some data from the Council for Responsible Medicine. 75% of physicians and healthcare professionals recommend dietary supplements. So let me ask that next question then. The large, the vast majority of you, probably 85, maybe 90% 90, 90 raise your hands. But how many of you recommend supplements to your patients? So about the same number, which is great. Wait a minute. You three said you don't take any vitamins. And you recommend supplements to your patients. That's very interesting, because that's very, that's not the norm. 
You didn't. You said you don't take anything either, sir. Correct? Okay. Do you um, suggest recommend vitamins to your supplements? Very interesting. Okay. So this is old data, by the way. All right. 900 physicians, 300 nurses, uh, and nurse practitioners. Top five conditions. Again, I apologize. This is this data is a little bit old, but still relevant. Bone health, overall health, joint health, heart health, uh, healthy cholesterol. And then for bone health, the usual stuff, calcium, vitamin D, magnesium, vitamin K2, vitamin C. Actually, they just said vitamin K. I threw the K2 in there. And then for joint health, glucosamine, chondroitin. And there's some other things. I'm going to be speaking about turmeric tomorrow or curcumin uh, in general session and the role of turmeric because the data on that is just unbelievable. So we'll go, the, get, bless you, in much more detail tomorrow. There are a lot of people in this country that have osteoarthritis. And then heart health, omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin E, vitamin B6, B12, folic acid. By the way, how many of you stopped recommending vitamin E to your patients? How, how many of you said, vitamin E is useless, there was data that says it doesn't do anything, it doesn't work, and you stop recommending it? One, for, okay, that's fine, and we'll clarify that as we go through this. So, anybody else is one person? The rest of you are lying. Come on, two people. Okay, good, good. I'm setting the stage here, by the way, okay? So, for cholesterol, phytosterols, soy isoflavones, uh, soluble fiber, there's lots of goodies out there. Also very interesting, 72% of physicians that use supplements, 87% take a multivitamin. A lot of people take vitamin C, 78%. I, I don't, for some reason, I don't take vitamin C. I probably take every other nutrient uh, known to man, but for some reason, I don't take vitamin C, and I don't know why. 63% use B vitamins, 59% use vitamin D. Actually, that number has gone higher, and 58% use vitamin E and calcium. Female physicians use more calcium and iron, which makes sense. All right, that's kind of a makes sense. 52% of male physicians use fish oil and 34% uh, of uh, female physicians use fish oil. And 27% uh, of male physicians and 14 uh, take supplements for their heart. Twenty-two percent of male physicians and 12% of female physicians take supplements for cholesterol. And let's get into it from here. This is one of my favorite, this has nothing to do with anything, although it does, it, it becomes relevant. And I really like this next slide a lot. And it says this, I've heard it said that by the age 20, you have the skin you've inherited. By age 40, you have the skin you deserve. What have you done to your skin? And by age 60, you, ha you have the skin you've earned. What have you done to it? Have you taken care of it? Have you nourished it? I really, really like this saying a lot. So what are the basics that we're going to go over? Water, nutrients, and that's our focus today, exercise, sleep, and we'll save the best for last. It's a guy by the name of Hippocrates. Anybody heard of him? You know, hung out a long time ago. And what he said was, let food be your medicine, and medicine be your food. I'm sure a lot of you have heard this. So what's the problem with Hippocrates' statement? Can anybody give me some... What's the problem with that? Let medicine be your... Let food be your medicine, and medicine be your food. What's the problem with that? Sir, and I'll repeat these. Go. Dosing. Dosing, okay. What else? Insurance companies won't pay their grocery bill. <laughs> Very good. I like that one. Yes? The quality of the food is not what it was before. The quality of the food was not what it was back then. Absolutely. Sir, you had a... Same? That's why you guys are hanging out together. I mean, it makes sense. Yes, ma'am. Contamination, pollution. In the back? 
What type of foods? There's all kinds of foods, exactly. I mean, what's out there? There's fruits, there's vegetables. What else? That pretty much covers it, but let's talk about this. Hippocrates did not have the nutrient depletion from the soils. Okay, you're eating your eight servings of fruits and vegetables every day. Great. I think that's a fantastic idea. But a pound of spinach today and a pound of spinach from 40 years ago has less nutrients. U.S. Department of Agriculture. We know this. We know this. 